Oh, hey, explainers. You're a little early for the matinee, but I don't mind the company while I get ready. What's with the stage? Well, I guess I'm just trying to relive some fond memories from high school theater. Specifically, the one time I got a lead part in a musical and how the final show night was almost ruined because of a prank. Gotta be upfront with this one, there's some major high school borderline adult hijinks happening in this story. I'll be as polite as I can, but you've been warned. Some of you may recall I did this little song a few months ago, but maybe not all of you know it's actually a cover song from a comedic opera called The Pirates of Penzance. Technically an operetta. Don't want the music nerds coming from my head. Well, this was a show that we did in high school theater. My junior year rolled around, I was still beaten down by my mean old demon lady theater teacher named Medusa, and was dreaming of the day that I could one day be a Broadway star. Just so happens Medusa and my super cool choir director got together and said, you bring the singing kids, I'll bring the acting kids, and we'll do a musical. Oh joy, the chance to sing my little heart out in frilly costumes. Naturally, I was thrilled. But do you want to know what made this the best thing ever to happen in my entire life? Medusa wasn't in charge. They got a local college professor to direct the show, which meant she had no say in casting. The monster has been chained. This was it. My one shot to have a lead part in high school theater. And you want to know what made the best day of my life even better? I was the only theater kid who knew how to sing, and the only choir kid who knew how to act. <laughs> You prissy little prima donnas are in my neck of the woods now. She's starting to scare me. There were only two lead roles for girls in this show. The young, beautiful, graceful soprano playing the love interest, and the 47-year-old pirate maid who's made fun of the whole show for being old and undesirable. Guess which one I was better suited for? Oh, you underestimate my need for attention and validation. I'll take it. So yeah, I auditioned and I got the part of Ruth, the piratical maid of all work. But oh, Medusa's theater club favorites were not happy, because most of them did not get parts. Kinda helps to know how to sing when you're doing a musical, huh? So many theater club kids who picked on me and ostracized me were so mad. Especially because it meant most of the acting kids had to be techies for the show. Build the set, make the costumes, run the lights, etc. Stuff that they were not used to doing. This work is beneath me! Well, these bitter theater club kids decided that they were going to get their revenge on closing night, planning a series of pranks to play on the actors in the middle of the show. They played a few smaller pranks on other actors, but clearly the biggest ones were reserved for the main characters. On the final night, everything was running smoothly for me during the first act, but that all changed at intermission when I was getting ready for the second act. Before I go any further, you kind of have to know a few things to understand the prank. Before the curtain opened, the guy playing the Pirate King and I both had to get behind this one big set piece on stage and stay there for the first 15 minutes of the second act, completely hidden from view and waiting for our big entrance. When the time came, we popped up, confronted the main character Frederick with a funny little song, plopped our butts down center stage when the song was over, and continued the plot showing Frederick a document that says he's contractually obligated to be a pirate against his will because of a hilarious loophole. Ah, old timey comedy, they really knew how to party back then. Also, also, important info, the guy playing the Pirate King was a theater kid who had a decent enough singing voice to land a lead part. We'll call him Ben. We like Ben, he was a cool dude that never picked on me. He also had like a Kratos voice, super deep. Made an awesome Pirate King. All right, you got all that? Good, back to closing night. I got changed into my next costume and was casually awaiting for the moment I needed to get into place for the second act. But apparently, one of those actor kids turned techie named Robbie had a sudden crisis of conscience and approached me trying to appear inconspicuous. He leaned over really close and whispered in my ear. Becca, I have to warn you. When the second act starts, you're going to hear me whisper to Ben from the wings. Whatever you do, don't look. Why? I can't tell you. If you don't tell me, I'm going to look. Okay, okay. When Ben looks, the pants are going to drop and the moon will be full. Of course, a good old-fashioned mooning. The booty blitz, the shiny hiney special, revealing one's buttocks for comedic purposes. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. Clearly, the prank was meant for Ben and not me, so honestly, I appreciated the warning, and I wasn't about to spoil harmless fun between friends. I thanked Robbie for the heads up and got into place for the second act. 
Sure enough, shortly before our big entrance, I heard it. Ben! Ben! I forced my eyes to look down at the floor, but it almost didn't matter. I heard all of it. The fumbling of a belt buckle, the shush of pants falling down, and possibly the funniest part of all, Ben's amused chuckle in his super deep Kratos voice. <laughs> Ooh, my game was sufficiently rattled, but can't dwell on that too long time for our big entrance. Now you would think that'd be the end of it. I was in the clear, I had done my time, no more shenanigans for me. But oh no! Some key information had been withheld from me, and I was in for quite a shock. If you remember, after our comedic song, all three of us sat down center stage to continue the plot. Ben's job as the Pirate King at this point was to unroll a scroll, read from it out loud, and pass the scroll in front of me to Frederick. So Ben retrieved the scroll from his pocket, grandly unfurled it, but that's when the two of us saw it. Taped to the inside of the scroll was a drawing in black sharpie. And when I say it was a crude drawing, I mean in both skill level and subject matter. And that's all the information you're getting from me. Well, that's an interesting way to draw human anatomy. With this crime against art staring me directly in the face in front of 200 people under blaring lights, I felt my face grow very hot. I averted my eyes to Frederick trying to save myself from ruining the scene, but upon looking at my co-star, I realized there was a new problem. You see, Ben and I were theater veterans. It was easier for us to carry on if something unexpected happened on stage. But this innocent, curly-haired, golden retriever of a boy that played Frederick was no theater kid. He was a choir kid, and playing a lead part in a show for the first time in his life was already a steep enough learning curve. So the fact that this radioactive scroll was about to be handed to him felt like impending doom. I shot a glance at Ben, who looked at me like we were sharing the same thought. As though in slow motion, I watched that scroll pass in front of me, that lethal image taunting me a second time. Frederick took it in his hands and instantly stiffened. Alas! You, you don't mean to say you're going to hold me to this completely normal contract. Phew. I gotta give him credit. He was the goodest boy for making it through that. Once the scroll was no longer needed, we yeeted that thing back into the wings and carried on with the show. And thankfully, the rest of the night went off without any more pranks. But oh boy, when the curtain fell and the show was finally over... Sorry, I'm sorry! I forgot about the scroll! I meant to tell you, honest! Come here, God of Mischief, so I can properly Thanos that neck of yours! Ah, good times, good times. Oh shoot, I got so caught up in my story we completely missed showtime. But hey, I have so many hilarious stories from this show that I could easily fill another video. So if you'd be up for hearing more pirate stories, just let me know in the comments below. And subscribe while you're down there. But never forget, even though my antics borderline on rabbit quizzical, I am the very model of a YouTube individual.